to be a strong Christian. I remember thinking to myself that I want to live for Jesus for the rest of my life. Yeah, I remember laying there thinking about God. I want to experience your power. Everybody shout power. And as I laid there on my bed and as I remembered the, the, the words of Pastor Miller's sermon, I said, I'm going to give this thing a try. I began very lowly to begin to speak in tongues because my two sisters' room was right next door and my mom's room was across the hall. So I didn't want to disturb anybody, but I had my mind set that that night I was going to receive an experience with the power. Everybody say power. power. As I lay on my bed and I begin to very softly begin to speak in tongues, I didn't feel then at the beginning, can I be real, young people? I didn't feel then after five minutes, can I be real, young people? I didn't feel then after ten minutes, can I be real, young people? But as I begin to continue to reach out to God, saying, God, tonight I want to experience your power. How many of y'all know that God never disappoints expectations? God never disappoints expectation. I laid in my room with the lights off all by myself and I began to speak in tongues. And as, just as a young teenager, I began to reach out to God with all my heart. And I remember it like it was yesterday. As I continued to press, all of a sudden, it seemed as if the cloud came into the bedroom. I first started speaking in tongues under my own power, saying, God, I want to try this out. But over time, after about 20, 25 minutes, it seemed as if some higher force, as if some type of higher power had came and overtaken my body. And as I began to continue to speak in tongues, the room was filled with a strange atmosphere. And, and, and my whole body began to shake. And I begin to, to speak in tongues louder and louder and louder under some type of power. And as I continue to speak in tongues, next thing you know, I begin to wake up people in the house. My mom came in the room and she clicked on the lights and she began to stare at me. And by then I was sitting on the side of my bed speaking in tongues as hard and as fast as I could. Totally immersed in the Holy Ghost power and I remember the day like it was yesterday my mom she didn't say much she walked in the room flipped on the lights and when she looked at me I can see my mother's face now like it was yesterday she only looked at me and she smiled because she knew that that day that night her son, her teenage son, had came into an encounter. He had came into a moment where he experienced Holy Ghost power for himself. I'm not going to be standing before you long, young people, but listen. I, wanted, I told you that story only to let you know that just like my mom stared at me and smiled and just like my mom knew that that night will be a night that will be marked in my life forever. I'm standing before you tonight letting you know I'm looking at you with that same smile upon my face. Because I know that tonight that many of you will have a moment and experience with the power of God that will change your life forever. If you want it. If you want it. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. Everybody shout power. power. What is power? What is this strange power? What is this Holy Ghost power that I'm talking about? We see here in our text scriptures that the Bible says that power belongs to God. We see that the Bible said that God has great power. But what is power that you're about to experience when? Power that you as a young person is about to experience when? 
power that you, as a young person, you're about to experience this Holy Ghost power when? Tonight. Power. What is power? Power is manifested glory. Power is God's anointing. Let me go ahead and bring it all the way down. Power is God's hand touching you in an undeniable, real way. God's hand touching you. God's presence touching you in an undeniable, real way. A lot of times as a young person, we come to church, we have a good time, but we still leave the service wondering, I wonder if God is really real. I wonder if the person that was running up and down the aisles, I wonder if the person that fell on the floor, if they was really under the power of God. But I came to tell you tonight, all questions will be erased because if you want him to, God will touch you in an undeniable way. Everybody shout. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. The power to God. God, God, we all love God and we all talk about we live for God, but a lot of us, we lack the power. We lack that personal experience with the power of God. Why is the power, why is it so important for you to have an experience with power? Because power is like bullets to a gun. You can have the gun, but if you don't have any bullets, you're not about to do nothing. You can't kill nothing if you don't have any bullets. Listen, you could be a saved young person. You could know all the Bible scriptures. You could come to Bible study every Wednesday. But if you never have your personal experience with the power of God, you cannot do anything to defeat the enemy. You cannot do anything to defeat the enemy. The Bible said in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And then since you have this power, nothing shall by any means hurt you. But you have to first have an experience with the power. If we're not careful, we, we will have a youth department, we will have a youth ministry that focus on people getting saved, that focus on discipling people. But what about raising up teenagers that have an experience with the power of God? What about raising up teenagers that have a real encounter with Holy Ghost power? What happened to the tongue-talking teenagers? We know all the words to the latest song. But do you have your personal prayer language? You, all, you know all the new dances that come out on BET and MTV. But when the last time you was up on the power of God and, and you begin to dance before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Holy Ghost power. Power is like gas to a car. You could have the car, but if you don't have any gas, you cannot reach your destination. If you're low on gas, you cannot reach your destination. You can shine up the car, put some pretty rims on the car. You can get the chrome package on the car. But if you're low of gas and you don't have any gas in the car, you cannot reach your destination. Listen, you might have gave your life to Jesus Christ. You might join the church. But are you low on gas? Are you low on power? I'm standing before teenagers tonight that God has called you to greatness. God has called you to do wonderful things, whether it's start a business or be like me, stand before a crowd and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. But you cannot accomplish your life mission. You cannot reach your full potential without an experience with Holy Ghost power. Somebody shout power. You need your own experience with the power. Like Brother Dennis said, he, he oftentimes sit in church and he watched other people celebrate Jesus. He watched other people jump up and down and dance under the power. He watched other people raise their hand under the power of God. But you need your own individual experience with the power of God. For the Bible says in Psalms 34 verse 8, all taste and see that the Lord is good. 
That word taste in that scripture means, oh, experience and see that the Lord is good. Why, why, why are a lot of us waving in our faith? Why do a lot of us feel that we cannot be saved? Because we have not had that experience. Because the Bible says if you taste, if you experience, you will see that the Lord is good. How many young people are standing or sitting here under the sound of my voice? Deep down on the inside, you have a question if God is really real. You have a question, is, is all this jumping and shouting, is it really real? You have a question, is there really a heaven or is there really a hell? My only answer to that is, oh, taste 